and uh, today is what we call uh, Sunday learning. This is for the first time that uh, we are doing in, doing it on Sunday. We, you know, Gopal Kumar may as well just debating with should we do it on Sunday? Uh, Sunday is supposed to be in a relaxed day with family and all that. And we thought, why not? Uh, this is something if you want to learn, when you relax, you can learn something uh, uh, better. While we in office on Saturday of a week and a weekdays, so you're under pressure. So I'm surprised, you know, we, we got over 800 uh, participants for this program. Maybe the subject is quite interesting. Maybe the speaker, Mr. Gopal Kumar, is becoming now international speaker. He is now in, he was saying that immediately after this, he needed to pack up and rush to Philippines. He was there in South Africa last month. Now he's in Philippines. I don't know. As you know, we keep doing this seminar. I think he'll be in demand world over by every country in the world. <laughs> that's 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 very nice to see that uh, you know uh, we becoming quite popular uh, when it comes to electrical safety. And I just want to all my participants here. Uh, this is what we did in the entire year. You know. Uh, you look at the various subject we started. Almost we are going to celebrate one. Yeah, we just now second year. Uh, second year, uh, we have done almost 25 uh, webinar on various electrical safety. You know, look at this. We are looking at uh, you know building fire. Why it's happening? Everybody blame that electrical short circuit is the cause for the fire. So whenever there is a fire, all attention goes to electrical safety. Yeah, so uh, this is something that we thought, okay, let's understand what are the best practices in installation. Are we following any standard? There are Indian standard, there are EC standard. How much are we ensuring that our installations is as per the standard? I'm sure Gopal Kumar will throw a lot of lights on how far we are when compared to the rest of the country, how far we are following, whether it is electrical audit, whether electrical installation, whether it is earthing, how are we? Where are we? What do we do? What kind of uh, professionals that we engage in uh, putting up our electrical design and installations? So uh, there's something, my name is Dominic. I've been involved in uh, fire and uh, security industry now for over 18 years, 30, five years in the fire industry. And uh, we've been doing almost 125 webinar last one and a half year uh, with the support of uh, CAPE. We would have tested uh, over you know, 20, 25,000 people. Uh, that's something that we feel proud and we have done some you know, kind of free knowledge. This, these are not paid uh, registrations or free knowledge to those who are who thinks safety should be way of life. To become safety as a way of life, whether at home, whether a building, anything, we must look at everything, whether how my building is built, why, whether my occupants are safe. Uh, and uh, entire series, 25 series is supported by Cape Electric. Okay, though it is non-profit programs, Cape has been advocating various best practices, standards, audits, products. And uh, I would like to introduce uh, who is uh, KF Electric. Uh, they started in 1998. Search protection devices were new in India when KF installed first SPDs for protecting industrial electronic system. DC combiner solution for solar PV were unknown once when KF delivered outdoor DC panel in 2002. In 2004, technical seminar on lightning protection not only helped the industries in solving a failure-related lightning, lightning surges and earthing, but gave in-depth knowledge about international standard. That's a big credit to K. In 2016, TNS systems with PME for industrial earthing without earth electrodes in soil, carrying safety and earthing earthing a level above the existing practices. In 2019, global earthing system were 
interconnecting EHV and HV and LV and ELV system are large industrial and commercial installation and smart cities. In 2022, they launched Solve, a digital platform as a knowledge and process partner to ensure safe operation of low voltage electricity that's called Solve is introduced. Leading the market with the right solution is Cape Moto and the team in Cape Electric are continuously trained to provide end-to-end -end solution from design implementation rather than selling a product for the customer need. No need of much of introduction about Kopu Kumar. As I said, he is now an international speaker in demanded in every country. But however, it's my duty as a host to introduce. Gopu Kumar is an electrical engineer, managing director of Cape Electric. Is having more than 27 years of experience in electrical safety, lighting protection, EMI and EMC, etc. He carried out more than 100 site studies on failure analysis of electronic equipment and hundreds of electrical accident analysis, including various fire accidents from electricity, and conduct over 1,000 training programs in various countries on the subject of his expertise. He is a member of various standard, IEC standard, uh, BA standard, and also member of National Building Code. He has published article about safety in various magazines and published the book, The Missing Link, the subject of electrical safety. Today, we are covering a very important subject. It's going to explain earthing and earth fault earthwall protection and lightning protection in solar PV application. Also, what are the recommendations given in the latest IEC standard? I'm sure all my friends who have taken a permission with your family to be listening for next one, one and a half hour. And let's make this uh, program more interactive. I would like to see good questions coming in and we'll take a, a good question uh, those may not be you know, covered in this topic, but a good question related to this subject. Okay, do not divert the attention to any other subject. Let's put up the questions on related to the subject we are covering today. So we should end up by 12, 12.30, and I look forward to wonderful participation. God bless you all. Over to Mr. Gopakumar. Thank you, Mr. Gopakumar. Thank you, Mr. Gopakumar. 